<laughs> the West Tigers, you guys were all over this yesterday, poised to launch a club-defining bid for Penrith Premiership winner Jerome Law, expected to soar north of $4 million. So, as you reported, a deal worth close to $1.1 per season is being discussed, uh, where Benji has to go and get the OK from the Tigers board, which you guys think is a, a mere formality. Yeah, well, um, I think it's been in the wind for a while, hasn't it? I think we all thought that uh, the Tigers might make a play for Jerome. Um, obviously, that story came out the other week that Benji Benji had gone and caught up with him. Dave obviously was all over that as well. Um, so it's not, a, it's not a surprise, but it sort of is in a way, because obviously they've got some young halves there. Mm. But I think you know, Benji's attitude is, and he sort of said this, if a good player comes on the market, a player like this, a marquee player, you've, you've got to at least explore it. And obviously he's explored it. He must be getting some um, um, positive reactions out of Jerome and, and they're going to hit the go button. Mm. I, I, I do hope uh, for Tigers fans' sake that uh, our story doesn't hurt the negotiations because uh, Benji has been so hell-bent mm. on trying to shift the landscape of the West Tigers of being a leaky footy club. And, um, I, 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 you know, the negotiations, they're, they're about to ramp up. Like, it's about to get serious. And it goes back to a board meeting, a West Tigers board meeting last week, where um, the suggestion of um, Benji Marshall going after Jerome Lua was first raised and basically the board saying to Benji, go for it. Go do your best, go all in for him, um, and and they've left it to Benji. And I think that's a significant move, Reed man. Like mm. when uh, you know a lot of footy clubs have a bit of a um, you know a GM of footy, assistant coach, head coach tactic when they're trying to sign a player. Well, I feel like Benji's batting one out here. I feel like Benji, Benji's been given the keys and said, go do your best and go get him. And, and everyone's just really leaving him alone. Well, I think they think Benji's got the pulling power right, Dave. I mean, you know, obviously, Jerome's spoken openly openly a couple of years ago when he played in, I think it was the was one of the All-Stars games about his admiration for Benji. Now, he grew up a Benji fan. So he, he would send the odd deal guy to go to Jerome Luai. The other, the other factor of players, they haven't had a head of football. They've got an interim one now. I think it's a Matt, Matt Betsy. Or yeah, it is. is that yeah. His name? Yeah. He's the interim head of football. But they haven't had a head of football because this review's been going on. Yeah. And they don't want to appoint a head of football while the review's going on. So Benji's will must have to go one out in this negotiation. Um, you know, I think I think he's a great signing. I mean, I've written it. I think he'd be a fantastic signing yeah. for that club. Mm. And, and the idea would be, um, Jerome would be given the team. It's his team. You know, it doesn't matter whether he plays six or seven. He would be be the chief player maker. He'd be the guy running the show, running the team. And I think that appeals to him as well. You know, he's always always been in the shadow of Nathan. He will always be in the shadow of Nathan if he stays at Penrith because they're such a good footy team mm. and Nathan's such a good player. And I think Jerome um, is the, excited potentially by yeah. the prospect of being the man. Yeah, I think it is too. And yeah. and, and look, you you go back to the coming through the grades together, Nathan and Jerome. Well, it was just, actually Jerome, the halfback, and he was seen as the star. He was the controlling playmaker when they were coming through the grades, and certainly that shifted for obvious reasons, taking nothing away from Nathan. But I still think, I think Jerome has an has an appetite to to spread his own wings and make a make create a, create his own legacy mm-hmm. as a as a as a dominant half and not sit in the shadows and play second fiddle like he does uh, to that machine at Penrith. Um, I, th- I, think, I think the other factor to this story on the back page today as well is that we've certainly picked up on some, some discussion from the, the most key individuals that would, would be close to the, the negotiations about Jerome f- indicating for the first time to Penrith teammates that he is seriously considering leaving. Hmm. Um, you know, he hasn't definitively said, boys, I'm out. But he's certainly having discussions about, I'm leaning towards doing this, boys. I, I, I'm, having, I'm giving it serious thought. And that's probably the first time we've heard that. Up until this point, it's really just been, what's Jerome going to do? Or he's going to test the market. He's gone to November 1. He'll go he'll see what other options are out there. We've never really heard some commentary coming out of Penrith about Jerome telling his teammates, hey... I'm considering this. Yeah. Hey, can I just touch on something you mentioned before, Dave, about 
the concern about leaks out of the Tigers and this story getting out. I mean, I think the Tigers get a really bum rap in that department. Sure, sometimes it comes out of the Tigers. But there's other parties at play here. There's other clubs who are interested in Jerome yeah. Roy. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and, and those clubs, it's probably in their interest to... Well, potentially yeah. get it out as well. I'll tell you right? what happens. So Other clubs pick on the Tigers. Yes. Mm. They use the Tigers they're up. Tar- they're they're the easiest touch. target yeah. from up from other clubs. Well, but so you I saw... feel a bit sorry that yeah. you know, this, the appearance might be that's come out of the Tigers. I don't think this has. No, well, what I about don't the either. quotes from Brian Fletcher to Peter Bedell yeah. saying that I'm hearing that there's a $1.4 million offer, it's crazy money because yeah. I know the Tigers are desperate for him. Yeah. You know, th- and that's on the record yes. stuff that's being said. So, um, and that's, and I mean, that, that figures. Yeah, that, that gives the appearance that the figure is $1.4 million a year. That's unrealistic. So, what, so Penrith have got a history of this, right? So when, they're, when they feel like they're about to lose a player, they start to plant seeds in the media about a rival club wooing that player. Mm. So it looks as though the player's taken the money and that the Panthers haven't lost the player. Mm. And it's, there is a consistency in this. Um, not to say that they're going to lose Jerome. I still think they're in the fight. But... It, there is a history there, and I do agree with you. I think the Tigers do get a bum rap, and I yeah. think they're picked on because they're a soft target for other clubs to go, well, yeah. the desperate clubs need needs this player. They use they use a, a player up uh, to create, um, you know, a, the spotlight over here, yeah. while yeah. over here we're doing some dancing here. Yeah. Yeah. And look, and I know Fletch even said, you know, if... if do we want Jerome to leave? No, but if he left, would it be the worst thing in the world? No, we'll be okay. Which, of course, you know, their production line, they've got yeah. some players coming through, they'll, they'll, they'll be okay. But and I don't think you need any help. You're big enough and ugly enough to look after yourself. But drinking the Kool-Aid, have a look at this team. <laughs> Jareem Baller at fullback. Appy at nine. You know, you've got... If you had Jerome there at six and or seven... Then either Farnu or Sullivan or, you know, Aiden Caesar's got what, 12 Lockie months. Lockie Gavin's the other one. Lockie Gavin, good young kid. Very good Talon De Silva coming through, good young kid. That back row, Papa Lee, Bateman, then, you know, whether you've got Twal there or Fanua Pole or. Mm. Pole you know, a gun. Yeah. You know, Stefano and Clem up front. We'll get to that Clem conversation, mm. you know. Josh Folletti, good young kid coming through. Charlie Staines has just re signed. You've got Nofaluma there, Junior Tupo. And this is without well, even. Nofaluma, if they have their way, he won't be there much longer. Well, yeah. Justin Ollum is the other think, wild card. Justin Ollum potentially coming in as a. Yeah. And that's, that's probably looking at that. You, you're sort of going, okay, well, where. Two things. Why are we going after Jerome if we've got these young guys here? Because he's a superstar. Yeah. Um, number two, what do they need? Those outside backs, they could potentially do some, yeah. with something there. But Olam's there, and Adam Dewey we haven't even spoken about because yeah. he's not going to be hang ready. On, hang on, is Justin Olam there? No, he's well, not there yet. Could, okay. could well, there's a chance. Be there. It might happen. It's still, mm. it's still up in the air. Yeah, but that's as far as looking at positions that they need, it, going back to your point about Benji, Best player on the market. Let's go get him. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Or one oh, I think I think you've drilled too deep, Mobsy. Honestly, I think you just go bang. Jareem Buller, absolutely. I, I can't recall a better rookie season. Like honestly, it was outstanding. He was there on a train and trial. Didn't unbelievable, he, last year, Dave. He was unbelievable. Uh, so you go Buller at fullback, Corus out dummy half, top two dummy half in the game, Luai in the halves. See you later. That's 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 a great. Mm. They're, they're three points of attack. Mm. that other clubs would crave in a heartbeat. It's interesting you, you talk about that as if as if it's now, right? Well, the next question will be if Jerome takes that deal, does he go straight away? Penrith don't have a history of letting blokes go straight away, but I, re- I reckon this one's a bit different. Why is that? I, I just think... that I, I, I'm not saying they would do it, but my gut feel is that there, there would be a discussion had, and ultimately it would be Ivan's decision. Ivan, Ivan would have a say on whether. I mean, Greg Alexander on SCN this morning away. said he wouldn't. Uh, we, you know, I wouldn't be letting him, letting him go. Yeah. And Greg sits on the board, so. Well, it's I've, I've spoken to people who basically said it'll be Ivan who'll make the call. Mm. And I don't know. Jerome's a bit different, right? You, if he makes that decision, do you think Jerome might want to? want to be interested in going straight away. I don't know. I'm just saying I think there would be a discussion around it and mm. certainly we'd talk about it. Yeah. Well, they've got... Who's the young kid? Jack Cole Jack coming Cole, through. Yeah. Um, you know, they've got other young guys. Well, like, the other I'll interesting thing is if, if he goes there, the Tigers have got three young kids, you can bet your bottom dollar at least one of them will ask to leave. Absolutely. Mm. And Penrith's a logical place to go, right? Because yeah. they're going to lose, lose Jerome Luai. Mm. So there's, there's a few moving parts involved. Mm. Yeah. And so what about David Clemmer? 
being uh, dragged into this discussion. Well, I think it speaks to what Reedy's talking about and the, the, the appetite for the Tigers, if they are to be successful in, in landing Luai, is get him now. Mm. And how do we get him now? Well, we're going to have to manoeuvre our cap a little bit. And David Clemmer's name has been floated to other clubs. Now, we can't confirm whether who's floated him, right? Uh, what we do know is that David Clemmer was absolutely none the wiser as that he was actually being passed mm. around. Uh, his agent learned of it only through the club. Uh, whether it was a, a someone from the footy club, we don't know. But certainly, Clemmer's name has landed at rival clubs. Mm. And at 750000 through until 2026, I think it speaks to two things. One, they want to try and get Luai immediately. Well, secondly, they're also going to have a crack at Adam for Newell Blake. 